Hey folks, Ariel over here at Finest with a uh, broccoli cutting today. At least one of you guys had requested specifically to get to see what the first broccoli heads look like when I first cut them before I cut side shoots all year, which is usually what you've seen over many years of gardening videos. Here is why that's what you've usually seen. This head is already too far gone. Do you see how it's not a nice rounded shape anymore? It is starting to turn into a more mature flower. What a broccoli head is, is this is an immature flower. So you're eating the, uh, the babies of the plant when you cut a broccoli head. And this, you see how it's all kind of lumpy and uneven? And you can even see some of the flowers starting to open. They'll turn bright yellow. It'll bloom beautifully if I didn't cut it and make many, many new seeds of baby broccolis. I'm not currently trying to grow broccoli seed. This is, when it starts to do that, it's um, going to get tough. I think this one's still edible, but it's gonna be borderline. It starts to get very tough and woody and just not tasty at all. You don't want yours to look like that. The size of the, the head has nothing to do with it, uh, knowing when you wanna pick it or not. Um, letting it sit there longer will not make it bigger. Each plant is going to make a head of whatever size it is. Part of that is determined by the variety of broccoli. Part of it's determined by your growing conditions, the nutrients in your soil. Mine are much better this year than they were last year. They're not as good as they used to have in the old garden. So hopefully over time as we get this soil in better shape, they will continue to get better. But waiting longer will not make it bigger. The plant's going to make it whatever size it's going to make it, and then it's going to go to seed and not be edible. Here's one that's borderline. This guy, you can see how the flowers are starting to open up a little bit. They're still green and it's not as uneven. This is still going to be okay. It's definitely not going to be tough, but I don't even want it to get quite to there. This is why you've never seen me do this because usually I walk out here one day and I'm like, oh, these all need cut right this second and I cut them off. I didn't do that. And so you're getting a video of what happens when you don't. This is another one that's almost too far gone. And let's see, those three for sure should have been cut. This one's borderline. Um, it's just starting to get lumpy. This one is almost perfect. And then we've got two here that are really actually perfect. So let me show you what this guy looks like. If you get to see this up close, you see how nice and kind of smooth the whole, whole head shape is there and how it's not starting to bolt in different directions yet. This is just about exactly what you want it to look like. Now with my hands there for scale, you can see it's not, not terribly big but that's all the bigger this is gonna produce this year. If, again, if I had either a different variety, better soil, something else, it might have made a bigger head. I'm hoping for bigger ones in the future, but letting it sit here longer will just make it turn wo tough, woody, and bolt like those others are trying to. It will not get any bigger. And then ones like this aren't quite ready. You could eat that guy right now it would be fine but it will if you see how tight the buds are they're still really tightly closed they don't look fully rounded out yet they almost look a little bit yellowish tint to their green still instead of uh, like a yellow green instead of that kind of even darker green that will grow a tiny bit bigger so this broccoli was all planted at the exact same time but it's each plant has its individual variations and it's not going to all be ready at the same time. Um, a bunch of these are ready right now and a handful are not. And isn't this basket cool? I found this at a thrift store for a couple bucks and it's beautiful and sturdy and uh, great for doing things like this. So a few of those I'm going to leave the main heads until they do get slightly larger. But then if you look right down in the kind of in the heart of it, uh, the plant, you will see where lots and lots of baby shoots are going to grow. And this is one of the reasons broccoli is one of my favorite things to grow right here where they're probably almost out of 
camera, I also have some cauliflower. They grow one head, and when you cut that, like this first cutting of broccoli, that's it, they're done. There's not going to be any more. With broccoli, however, I will continue to get little side shoots that are almost like individual bite-sized pieces usually um, from now until it all freezes in the fall. So broccoli is much more productive and that's one of the reasons I like to grow it. So here's where I just cut one of the main heads off. You can see the, the cut stalk here. But see how there's already a tiny little side shoot growing out there and one over there. And there's gonna be more on down through there all summer long. Anyway, if you have ever grown broccoli, because I've seen some people over time say, oh, I let mine go thinking it would just get bigger if I waited longer. That doesn't work. It, it gets to the perfect stage for eating it. After that, it just bolts, gets woody, and makes millions of baby broccoli. So if you were trying to save broccoli seed, you would let at least one head do that. It'll get really tall. It'll stretch out way taller than I showed you. It would, the flower probably would come up to here in long, tall stalks. It bloom beautiful and yellow. The bees and pollinators would love it. There'd be nothing wrong with doing that, except it's not going to taste good for you to eat it. At that point, it's going to be very, very tough and fairly inedible. But that is how you would get broccoli seeds. So if you're growing some of your own broccoli, hopefully that's helpful in knowing when to harvest it if you're looking for an edible crop or what to do if you want to let it go to seed. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.